Okay, so about a week ago, I put out a plea for help with my project Isetta. This is a 1958 Isetta slider, 300 cc, four stroke single cylinder. And I was having trouble with the charging system. Actually, well, I was having, let me back up. I was having trouble with the starting system. Somebody rebuilt the engine on this car years ago, and I think they used a high compression piston. This engine has 135 PSI compression, which I found that most Izettas have 100, maybe 105. So it's always had a starting problem because it couldn't uh, overcome its own compression. And so I replaced the Dynastart, and then I couldn't get it to charge. I get it to start good, but I couldn't get it to charge. And I think I finally figured it out. So this is the starting charging relay. It's pretty common, and if you shake it out, you can see all the crud that's coming out of it. It's completely corroded. And uh, just as I'm shaking it here, stuff's coming out. That was a major problem, as well as the wiring. You'll have to excuse my rewiring. I'm gonna go back and clean this all up. But this is the new electronic voltage regulator slash starting solenoid arrangement that the I said a dude sells. And boy, does this thing wing over now. Um, of course, this has got like a, a car battery, a, a normal size car battery, like 600, what is it, 600 coal cranking amps, which somebody put in to try to overcome the starting problem. But now it really cranks. I'll, I'll demonstrate it for you here. So turn the key, charge light comes on. The engine fires up. You'll see the charge light there is glowing a little bit. I rev the engine up. I just got no. It goes off. Awesome. I can hear the engine whirring, and I've got a little over 12. I've got about 13 volts, which is awesome. I don't have a fan on it, so I can't run it very long. You can see my point dark in right there. I've got a hot rod coil in it. Just to get her going. So I'm gonna shut her down. But I am so happy. In fact, I'm so happy I'm honk the horn. That's how happy I am. Give a little horn honk. This car's been uh, this car's been a real pain in the tushy, if you know what I mean. Finally, I think I've got all the systems worked out, and I hope to be driving it soon. Thanks for watching.